Hello guys, I guess where I am today? That's why I'm on a train to Manchester Airport again. I'm catching a flight uh, down to Newquay Airport. The first time I've been there, it's with EasyJet. And after that, I'm going to be taking a train from Newquay down to a little place called Lost Withiel in Cornwall, still in Cornwall. Uh, I've never been there either, so um, it's going to be an interesting couple of days. I'm going to hang out there and just have a look at a couple of branch lines, I think. And then I'm flying back on Sunday. So why don't you come with me for the trip, and I'll see you a little bit later. Cheers for now. Uh, Manchester Airport was reasonably busy today. Uh, it took me 30 minutes to get through security, uh, albeit only half the counters were open. And none of the travel agents work these days, by the way. I think they've just turned them off for good now, to be honest. Aircraft movements outside were still pretty sparse, though, but it was good to see some of the big jets again. I like the Etihad 787 Dreamliner, which was heading out to Abu Dhabi this afternoon. Well, back to reality, I guess. And my flight down to Newquay today would be on this A320 Neo. A GUZHD, uh, which was on its way back from Alicante when I got here. And who needs the Spanish sun when you've got a day like this today in the UK? Now, well, to be honest, I'd still rather be in Spain, but uh, needs must, and I needed a flight fix, so I was sure to get a beautiful clear view on this afternoon flight today. Our boarding was from gate 3A, uh, which was close to the terminal and a really short walk to the rear steps. I was greeted by the cabin crew, uh, there were no sanitizer wipes handed out, uh, but that's pretty consistent with my previous EasyJet flights over the last 18 months, so I wasn't really expecting it, and I think EasyJet are probably presuming that everyone's bringing their own at the moment anyway. And now that's not really a problem, providing the aircraft is clean enough. And here's the issue with today's flight, it wasn't. Now it was clear that the previous occupants of my row, row 19, had been incapable of getting crisps from the packets into their mouths without throwing them all over the place in the process. Now that aside, uh, this aircraft had a one and a half hour turnaround at Manchester and I think it should have been cleaned during that time. Do you think this is acceptable? Well please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, we took off today from runway 23R. Uh, flight time would be approximately 45 minutes, uh, with a cruising altitude of 31,000 feet. Conditions in Manchester were a bit cloudy. Conditions in Newquay, absolutely lovely. Enjoy the takeoff. There were some beautiful views over Liverpool and the Mersey as we banked towards the south. And the aircraft, I reckon, was maybe a third full, including the stag party, who were good humoured and enjoying themselves. And this is a great weekend trip for this kind of thing, to be honest, and I was surprised there weren't more passengers on board, really. The first thing to notice is that there is a full catering service on board, 
Now, Top Market's too easy to get for this. Now, yes, you have to pay for it, but at least you have the choice. Now, if you want to see how little Logan Air cared about this on my return flight, I'll stay tuned for that report in a few weeks' time. Okay, so standard kind of seat review. <laughs> well, it's an easy jet, May 320, isn't it? A legroom, perfectly fine, as I've said before. Uh, the safety card remains in situ, and unlike the floor, the seat back webbing and the table were perfectly clean. And maybe they'd just forgotten the Hoover at Manchester or something. The table slides out and back, um, and there's this neat raised bit here, uh, which I reckon you could lean a tablet on. Uh, there are small adverts on the back of the seats, not as brash as Ryanair are they? Uh, and the usual coat hooks which nobody uses. I had a road all to myself today which was great and meant I could just stretch out and put all my stuff on the adjacent seat. Above each row there are individual air vents and reading lights plus call buttons. Right, so time for a quick loo review, uh, looking at the one located in the rear of the cabin on the right hand side. And now uh, queuing for the toilet is obviously still discouraged, uh, but fortunately there was some space in the seats uh, where you could wait until one of them became unoccupied. Uh, as you can see it's a really tight space in the right hand side toilet. Uh, there is a baby change table here above the toilet, uh, which also has a grab handle to one side. A mirror above the sink with a branded hand soap dispenser and the usual tap with hot cold running water, along with a plentiful supply of hand towels on the right and the litter bin underneath. And now considering the loo was in constant use during this short flight, I, I thought it was really clean so yeah, four marks to easy jet in this respect, and I was pretty impressed. After crossing the Bristol Channel, we banked right, heading southwest over the Quantock Hills towards Bodmin Moor, and our destination this afternoon, Cornwall Airport, Newquay. Now I understand that the airport is officially RAF St Morgan, and named as such during the Second World War, where the US Air Force made a number of improvements to the airfield, including extending the main runway. Now, after the war, the airfield was home to Avro Shackletons and Lancasters, uh, then English Electric Canberras and Nimrods uh, during some periods of the Cold War. And I tell you what, it must have been some sight seeing these beasts taking off and landing in those days. In 2008, the runway part of the airfield, so to speak, uh, was handed over to Cornwall City Council, uh, since which time it has developed into the airport we see today. The RAF still retain a limited presence here, uh, somewhere, and I'm not ex sure exactly why or, or even where that is. If you know any more about their role, then um, please leave me a comment, and I'd be really interested to find out a bit more about this. Anyway, it really couldn't have been a better day for flying, and a great way to see the stunning southwest counties of England.
and our approach today was from the southeast to landing on runway 30. So yeah, disembarkation was via the front and rear steps. Uh, we were actually the only aircraft on the ramp at the time of our arrival. And just look at the weather. I remember we were in the UK at this point and not in the Mediterranean. And obviously because of all that, um, no passports required. Straight into arrivals A and at the other side. Easy. Okay guys, well, um, yeah, I've just um, got to Newquay Airport. I'm sitting outside. It's a lovely little place. The weather's fantastic. We're the only plane landing here um, at the moment. So yeah, just one easy jet A320 on the ramp. Uh, I'm gonna try and find a bus stop, which I believe is eight side here somewhere uh, well, it can't be that far away there's like one road going past the place uh, so yeah that's going to take me into new key hopefully and drop me off somewhere near the railway station and then i'm going to uh, catch a train down to lost Withiel eventually so thanks for watching so far and i will catch you again soon cheers for now